Hey everyone, here is the next tutorial for uh, Simplicity 2761. We're going to make the apron today. So I'm going to go over the pieces with you and um, I'm going to explain a little bit about it. And if you will remember, it is view C and we're making this apron right here. If you can. There you go. Right here, that's the apron that we're going to make. This is a very, very simple apron. So, the pieces that you need, is, well, you need two types of fabrics. You need a contrast fabric and you need a um, the main fabric. My main fabric for the apron is going to be this right here. And then this is going to be my contrast fabric. I think that's going to look real pretty. Okay, so the pieces that you need is number 13. You need to cut one on the fold. This is your uh, main fabric piece here, okay? And this is where you're going to be putting pockets in um, your uh, binding, or not your bindings, but your bands. And you need to mark here and here. You could just like on the top of the lines make an X. That way you know where your pockets go. You need to do it twice. You need to do it on this side and you need to do it on the reverse side. Okay, now this is number 15. You need to cut two of these out. These are your pockets. And uh, they don't have any markings, but they do have notches. And the uh, other piece, number 13, has notches on it too, so watch for those. Okay, this is number 17. This is going to be your band for um, the ties. Okay, this has notches on it also, and it does have markings. And these markings right here, like right here, there's a, a dot right there, a big dot, and then there's your little dot, and then another big dot right about here, right, right about there. And you've got it on both sides, in this area only. Down here, let me find it. Okay, right here. There's a notch right here where these dots are. And the notch is just on one side because this side is going. We're going to be folding under. Um, no, we're not. I'm sorry. We're not. This is this side is the one that we're going to be sewing uh, to form the band. Okay. And then this right here is number 14. And you need to cut one on the fold. But I ran out of fabric, <laughs> so what I did was I cut two pieces to make it long enough and you need to cut one on the fold so make sure you have a piece that's long enough to fit this so as you can tell it's about halfway that I don't have it but that's okay because I can just sew it together in the middle and you know it's not really going to matter much okay and then uh, this right here this is for your uh, pockets. This is going to be your band on your pocket. You're going to have one notch on here on each band and that's all you're going to have. No markings or anything like that. You cut two of those. Alright, let's go ahead and get started now that we've gone over everything. Oh, and I forgot to tell you in the last tutorial, and I meant to tell you this, when I was making the shirt, you've got to have stretchy fabric like a jersey or polyester or something like that. I did use polyester. Okay, and for the apron, you just need cotton. You don't, you know, nothing uh, fancy or anything. All right, so I've got my thread set up. I've got my bobbin put in, and I've got my serger set up because, as you know, I use my serger. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I made one already, and it turned out really cute. This is my apron, and I was trying to do a video on it, but <laughs> I don't know. I'm using my camera camera not my phone so this will work better okay but anyhow this is how it's supposed to turn out isn't that just darling I'm going to uh, make well I'm going to make the one that I've got cut out that give me two then I'm going to make another that way both of my granddaughters have one and I have one okay let's go ahead and get started the first thing we need to do is work on the pockets so get out your pieces for your pockets which is number 15 and number 16 all right, we're going to form the band for the pocket first. Let me get my pattern here so I can put my pieces in as I go. All righty. So to form the band, you need to take both pieces 
And this is the hard part because I can't seem to get it separated. Mm, come on now. There we go. All right. So what you want to do, I'm sorry for the angle of this camera, but I don't have much room in here where I can set up a, a, a camera. But anyhow, fold it over a quarter inch like that. And then just sew straight across on both pieces and that's it so let's go ahead and do that and you know you can just pretty much eyeball it I'm not uh, going to use my hemming gauge for this because I can pretty much tell what a quarter inch is all right let's go ahead and get started And make sure you uh, the band the uh, the uh, folding on both bands do match because you don't want one bigger than the other. So The next thing we're going to do is we're going to work on the pockets. Okay, we're going to fold over the sides like this. I don't know if you can see that or not, but we're going to fold over the sides like this, and then we're going to fold over the bottom. And it's supposed to be a quarter inch. You can do the sides first and pin, and then do the bottom and pin, or you can do the bottom first and then the sides, however you want to do it. It really doesn't matter, because it's not going to show anyhow. So I'm going to, so you go ahead and pin first. you don't have to back stitch because you're going to be sewing this onto the apron itself here in a little bit and uh, so, um, the back stitching is not important and always make sure you have your needle down when you go on the corners Okay, there you go. There's your both of your pockets. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to, well, you can see better where this hand. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to attach the band onto the pocket. And what you do is you, you have your pocket upside down. You want the inside facing you. And then you want the right side of the fabric that looks like this to go on here and you want the notches to match up you're going to have some hangover and there's a reason for that and I will show you in just a few, a few mi a seconds make sure you get it lined up real good and you just sew straight across the top about a quarter inch and th again you don't need a back space or back stitch. Okay, so that part is done. 
I'm going to search this and I'll be right back. All right, the next step is you need to fold it over like this and bring it to the front. And make sure you get uh, the edges lined up just like that. Don't worry about the overhang for right now. In a second, we're going to get to that. I just wanted to get this lined up first before I went any further. All right, so the next thing you do is you're going to bring the overhang to the back. Just like that. I'll show you again with this one. You bring it to the front, just like this. Wait a minute, let me do it this way. Yeah, I was doing it right. Okay, so you bring it over to the front and bring over the um, overhang. And pin it. And same thing over on this side. And there you go like that and then that's what the back looks like and then the next thing we're going to do is we need to put it onto the apron piece and you know what I forgot to mark my um, pattern here let me get I'm going to put one more down here on the bottom, make sure it doesn't move around. And then you need a back stitch. Don't don't forget to back stitch. And if you want, you could follow the lines you did when you sewed the uh, fold pieces over because that's what I'm doing. That way you don't have two lines on your pocket. other side there Okay, there you go. There's the pockets right there. All right, so um, 
The next thing we're going to do is um, we're going to do the skirt band, and it's going to go it's going to go on the bottom here. So let's go ahead and work on that. Okay, and like I said, I have to cut uh, so mine together, so if you uh, cut yours on the fold like you're supposed to, then you don't need to do this step I'm getting ready to do. So what we do then is um, we fold over on one edge. It doesn't matter which end um, of the long edge. You know, the long edge going this way. And what we're going to do is we're going to fold it under a quarter inch. Just like that. All the way down. And then we're going to uh, sew it. I hope you like this tutorial. I tried to pick an easy one for you because I was asked to do easy. Is we're going to get your apron piece okay and put it on the wrong side face up we're going to get your band that you just sewed the uh, quarter inch fold on and we're going to do right side to wrong side just like this so you've got two wrong sides looking up at you and you pin all the way down and then we're going to sew it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I made a mistake. Hold on. There. Now, you need to center it because you need to have a, a, um, an end, two ends that hang over. Now we've got it going right. Next thing you're going to do is we're going to do the same thing we did on the pockets. We're going to bring it over this way and fold it under. And get your uh, ends that are hanging over and bring it to the back side and pin. So in other words, you're sandwiching the um, apron in between those two hangovers. And do the same thing on the other end. Okay. And just go ahead and stitch on that same line that you did when you did the, photo, uh, the folding um, on the other end. 
this is where I'd go kind of slow so I could make sure I would get everything lined up right with that line that I sewed. Now you get the top of the apron, you want to do a basting stitch. So your straight stitch, get your longest stitch because you're going to be doing some gathering. Okay. Now you want to clip your top thread, that way you don't get it mixed up with your bobbin thread. Okay, so now, um, the next thing we need to do is get your piece number 17, which is your, um, I just lost my thought, which is, which are your ties? And I think I forgot to do my markings on this. Okay, so now you want to take uh, your uh, tie, and you want to... Uh, fold it in half right sides together and you want to leave an opening um, maybe just a couple of inches opening because uh, I'll show you why but just go ahead and leave an opening like in the middle of it Okay, now you want to sew from um, one end of the tie all the way down to the other. Oops. And don't forget to put your machine back on your regular stitch. And, and sew about a quarter inch down. To get it out, push all of this through. And this is time consuming. This is going to take you a few minutes because you have to work it out. Like this. Sorry for all the noise. Today's trash day. And all the, uh, All the trucks are out. There we go. And then you get a straight pin. I mean a straight pin, I'm sorry. You get a safety pin and you kind of work it out. I found out this is the best way. You just keep doing it. Okay, it's done. And when you get to the point, you want to get like a... Um, a skewer or something and poke out those points. Don't use scissors or anything because then you could cut right through it. All right, so the next thing we need to do is, um, I usually like to iron this. So I'm going to get these folds, I mean, get the seam lines and uh, pick them out like this. And then I'm gonna pin. I'm gonna do that all the way down. Okay, facing up. I see. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to you're going to put this inside of the opening and make sure you have your notches lined up. That's what you're going to do. And then pin.
Okay, and then you see there's a big gap right here. Well, you need to gather your apron up. So, starting from whatever side you want to start on, just gather. Until you get it all um, even with the band. And then you go to the other side. It looks like it's lined up pretty good. Let's check it out. Looks like it. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to fold over like this and bring it in like that. And you want to make sure you cover up your uh, stitching from the basting. So very carefully. And you need to get all of your apron up inside of there. All right, now the back part of the tie, you need to do the same thing. Bring it up, make sure you hide those basting stitches. Okay, your next step you need to do is you need to stitch from the one end all the way down where you have the seam right there. Go all the way across and all the way across here. You see how I've got my um, apron up inside here? Just like that. That's what it's supposed to look like. And then you just sew all the way to the other end. There you go. The apron is done. Isn't that pretty? Such a nice looking apron. Okay, well, the next tutorial is going to be on making some pants. And I'm going to make them out of denim. Okay, well, when I get the machine set up for that, I will be back.